I'm here to let you know today that God wants to make you mighty in life. He wants to make you truly great. In our daily devotional today, I'm here to share with you what you need to do to become great in life. I want you to know today that God wants to make you mighty in life. He wants to make you great. So I will be sharing with you today what you need to do to become great in life. What you must do to become a great man, to become a great woman in life. My scriptural reading today is taken from the book of Psalm 144, verse 1. The word of the Lord says, Praise the Lord, who is my rock. He trains my hands for war and gives my fingers skill for battle. Praise the Lord, who is my rock. He trains my hands for war and gives my fingers skill for battle. I believe that you already know that the Bible made us to know that David was a man of warrior. He was a mighty man of warrior. You will also remember that Moses, the man that led the children of Israel out of the land of bondage, the land of Egypt, was also mighty in words and in deeds. Also, when we talk about Gideon in the Bible, the first thing that will come to your mind is that Gideon was a mighty man of failure, and Boaz was a mighty man of weight. He was a worthy man. You already know this, that the Lord our God himself is a mighty man of war. He is mighty in battle. And Jesus also did so many mighty works when he was on earth. My friend, I'm here to let you know today that God wants to make you mighty in life. He wants to make you truly great. In the book of Genesis chapter 26, when you read from verse 12 to 14, the Bible gave us an account of Isaac, how he became very great, how he was mighty in the land. The Bible says, When Isaac planted his crops that year, he harvested a hundred times more grain that he planted. For the Lord blessed him. He became a very rich man, and his wealth continued to grow. He acquired so many flocks of sheep and goats, heads of cattle, and servants that the Philistines became jealous of him. So the Bible made us to know that Isaac grew great, he went forward, and he became mighty in the land. I pray for you today that that shall be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make you mighty in the land. God will make you great. You can see from the life of Isaac that becoming mighty, becoming great in life is a process. The Bible made us to know that the man was great because he went through the process. I want you to also prepare your mind to go through the process and you will be great in life. You will be mighty in the land. All you need to do is to go through the process of becoming great in life. You see, if you are willing and obedient, God will make you mighty in life. God will make you great in the land. The following are some hints on what it takes to become great, to become mighty in the land. Number one, focus is the first thing that you need to become mighty, to become great in life. You need to be focused. It starts with your focus. When I talk about focus, you need to discover what your calling is in life. You need to discover what your purpose is in life. Discover your vision and you need to discover what your passion is in life. And then develop yourself along the line with singular focus. And when you are following the leading of the Lord, when you are following the leading of the Holy Spirit, step by step along the way, you will soon see yourself among the great. You will soon be reckoned with among the great. Number two, apart from focus, you need training. Training is another thing that you need in life to become great, to become mighty in the land of the living. You can see from our text today that David was taught, David was trained, and David was nurtured by God. That is why I'm here to challenge you today to get retraining for your life assignments. Get retraining for your life purpose. You can invest your time. You can invest your money and be patient. All you need to do is to train yourself to become mighty, to become great in life. 
Number three, for you to become mighty and become great in life, you must be prepared. You need preparation. The Bible talks about a particular king in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 27, verse 6. The Bible was talking about Jotham, the guy that became king at the age of 25. And the Bible made us to know that he became mighty because he prepared his way before the Lord is God. In 2 Chronicles chapter 27, verse 6, the Bible says, So Jotham became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord is God. I want you to know that proper preparation prevents poor performance. You need to prepare in life. You need to prepare for life. Prepare for your greatness and you will be mighty in the land. You must always be prepared. If you want to be great in life, you must be prepared. Don't take your destiny for granted. Don't take your life for granted. Don't joke with life. Be prepared. You see, in whatever you want to do, take your time to properly prepare. Take your time to diligently prepare and it shall be well with you. You will be mighty and you will be great in the land. You see, if you always prepare very well, you will always finish right on top. Number four, the fourth thing that you need to do to become great in life is practice, practice, and practice. Get ready to practice. You see, becoming great in life certainly starts with thinking, but it does not end there. You must put practice in place. You must put legs in your thoughts. You must act on your vision. You must act on your calling. When you learn something, you must practice what you have learned. Practice will take you to the top. You see, you need to put into effect what you trained for. You need to execute what you prepare and you will make it great. You will be great in life. Always execute what you prepare. Preparation is essential. Preparation is needful. You will be great. Finally, number five, the next thing you need to do is to be consistent. I'm talking about consistency. When you are consistent, you will be great in life. Consistency is talking about moving steadily towards your goals. You need to be moving gradually towards your goal. You see, consistency means doing what you have to do when you feel like doing it. And when you don't feel like doing it, you have to do it. That is consistency. I want you to know today that there is power in consistency. It is the difference between the great and the mediocre. Always put everything that you have learned into practice and God will give you the desires of your heart. I would like to pray with you right now. Let's talk to this almighty God who wants you to be mighty in life, who wants you to be great in the land. Heavenly Father, I thank you today for the people that have had your word. I thank you for your plan and your purpose for your people today because it is your desire that they should be great in life. I thank you because you want them to be mighty indeed and you want them to be great in life. Lord, I'm asking today for your spirit of wisdom and your spirit of diligence to rest upon your people today to make them to be mighty indeed in the land. I'm also praying today that you will send help, you will send destiny helpers to your people today Lord, I pray that you will always help them to be focused, to be trained, to be practicing, to be consistent in life. Give them the desire of their hearts. Lord, I give you thanks and I give you praise for answering our prayers today. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I would like to thank you for being here today. I believe that you've been tremendously blessed during this daily devotional time. I would like to read your comments below. Leave a comment for me. Tell us about the impact of this message in your life. If you are passing by for the first time, I welcome you to this platform. Remember to share this message with your friends, with your family, and your loved ones. Let God use you to bless their life. Thanks for doing that. And also remember to follow, to like, to share, to subscribe to this platform. Until I come your way next time, I'm Nidhi Biro. Bye for now. I see you in everything. You're working it all out for me. Oh, what can I do but sing and give?
give to you all the glory. You put all my fears to rest. I bring to you my anxiety. Oh, I am forever blessed. Your passion is. 